everybody, how is it going? It is your pal, Sal here. Welcome back to my channel, and I guess today is the best way to kick off the saying, um, happy holidays, everybody. Today, we are listening to the first Christmas album, uh, well, at least my first reaction for one in the year of 2021. Today, we are listening to the ninth studio album and second holiday album from Miss Kelly Clarkson titled When Christmas Comes Around. So I'm a little late to the game on this one because this album did come out on October 15th of 2021 uh, and I did get the CD on October 15th of 2021 but I'll tell you one thing October 15th 2021 was not the Christmas season I understand they have to get the CDs out there and all that so I appreciate that but in terms of listening I was like not ready it's not time it's 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 not time but as we all know once the clock strikes 12 a.m. on November 1st um, it's time, as Mariah Carey would say, it's time! Um, and it's not really even time for me quite just yet. I did put up my tree. I just kind of wanted to get everything ready and set up. I'm not fully in the holiday spirit yet, but I'm getting there. I've been listening to a few holiday albums. Uh, and the reason why I also did want to wait is because I did want to revisit her first Christmas album, which we all know is called Wrapped in Red, which my reaction to this channel is on this channel. You can go check it out. Um, easily ranks as one of my top five Christmas albums of all time. I think it could be honestly considered Kelly's best album. Which is why this album has me a little nervous, but we'll, we'll save that for later. Um, uh, but I wanted to revisit it, uh, talk about some things as we go along with the thing. Um, and yeah, there's that. So, uh, like I said, I did get this album the day it came out. I did pre-order it on Kelly's website because it came with the CD. And it was supposed to be a signed CD. However, the booklet ended up not being signed. And it was sent within uh, a separate signed insert, which is still just as pretty. But I mean, when you say signed CD, that means... It means book with Cal. And her team was on top of it because they sent it out, they put it in the mail a week before the album even came out. So I appreciate that. I love that. I stand that. Um, I, I was also a little mad at this album, you know, going into it because it's been four years since we have gotten an album from Miss Kelly Clarkson. And um, I kind of wanted her divorce album. Now, apparently there are some divorces tracks in here, which I'm excited to hear. But, you know, I kind of, I wanted that. I wanted the, I wanted the bite. You know what I mean? But we'll put that aside. It's Christmas. We'll, we'll, we'll enjoy the holidays. Um, so this album did chart at number 63 on the Billboard 200, which is a little shocking to me because Kelly has such a... What nobody else in the music industry has, she has two shows that she's on. Um, her own show, the Kelly Clarkson show, and what is it, The Voice? Um, another, yeah, I don't watch that. Um, and I, in my opinion, she should not be on The Voice. I think the, I just hate those type of shows. Like, after American Idol, should have been done. It, there's no more idols left. I'm sorry. Um, but... With all that promotion she has the opportunity for, I'm kind of shocked it charted so low, but hopefully as the holiday season comes up, maybe the album will grow in popularity, we'll see. There have been a total of five, that was four, five singles that have preceded this album. Uh, three of them are technically bonus tracks on the album, uh, which I thought was the deluxe edition, but turns out they're on every version of the album, uh, which is Christmas Eve, which was released in 2017, which did chart at number two on the U.S. Adult Contemporary Billboard. The second single, Under the Mistletoe, was number one in the Canada AC, um, which was last year, and I did a reaction to that as well. Uh, the third single was All I Want for Christmas is You, which is not the Mariah Carey song, which did not chart last year. And then the two singles of this year were Christmas is not Cancelled, Just You, and uh, Glow. But like I said, I, I saw all these come out, but did not listen, because I was like, it's not, it's not time yet but it's time now so without further ado i think it's best we get started listening to this album um and we begin with track number one which is called merry christmas baby so let's do it okay we begin with an orchestra okay it's giving me very act one vibes and i kind of like that like we're going for a story here and i think this is one of her new songs i'm not sure though could be i don't know Okay, it's a divorce song, that's for sure. Oh no, no! And she did write this. I'll let my absence show you what I got for Christmas. I love that. I love that. Ah. Okay. Oh, that's pretty. Pretty. Merry Christmas, baby. I 
do like that lyric. I'll let my absence show. Um, <laughs> okay, so you know, this is really bizarre because, you know, I did go into this knowing it's the Divorce Christmas album, which, you know, you can say that all you want, but when you listen to it, you're like, oh, like, you know, it, it's no, it's no stranger to, you know, Christmas songs being somewhat sad, but this you're like, okay, um, I liked it. I did. It's just, this is a very, this is a very weird concept now that we're getting more and well, uh, with just one song, but, um, uh, Divorce <laughs> Christmas, which, you know, to some people, I feel like this is really going to speak to them. Uh, me as someone who is not going through a divorce, uh, I don't know. Um, I liked it. It's fun. It's cute. Very old school. I like that. Um, so we'll have to, I'll give this one a little more time, but I did like it. Uh, it's just, uh, this is a little jarring. And this isn't even the big, like, divorce song. I'm assuming the lead single one is. So we'll keep it going. Track number two, we have a classic. It's beginning to look a lot like Christmas, which we all know. Come on. I don't know the lyrics as well as I thought I did. <laughs> Listen in once again. Oh, this is a short song. It's only two minutes. Okay. Oh my god, there's a lot of short songs on here. Oh my god. Okay. Okay. Oh my. Whoa. Hang on, I gotta hear that again. That was cool. Let's hear that. No. That was cute. I like that. Okay. Okay. I'm not mad at that. Is that ever gonna be my favorite version of this song? Maybe not. But uh, I do love her vocal inflections, especially that, that note we got towards the middle. Slayed the scene. And what's interesting too is that her voice is just always so consistent. Like, this could have easily been on Wrapped in Red. And we would have, it could have been an outtake from Wrapped in Red. We'd never know because it all just blends in so well. Um, I liked it. Um, a nice take on the holiday classic, that's for sure. Okay, here we go. Track number three, the big lead single for this one. Uh, Christmas isn't canceled, just you. And I've heard a lot of good things about this, so I think I'm excited. Okay, this is very meaning of life. Okay. All my favorite things. I love that. I love the backing vocals. That's right, you bastard. Okay. Just you. That's so funny. I like the backing vocals. Okay, build, build, and then. I'm not as into this chorus. It didn't go where I thought it was going to go. Okay. Like this. I'm 
Ooh. Do you hear her back there? Do you hear her? I heard her. Wait, let's turn up. Wait. Wait. Why do they hide that? Why do they hide that whistle note-ish thing that she's doing? That's rude. I hate when they do that. Don't hide a whistle note. Or layer it properly. But don't hide it. Don't don't put it that far back into the mix. Hmm. I wanted to like this, but I wasn't really all that into it. Um, I love, well, let's face it. The vocal's never gonna be the issue with the Kelly Clarkson song. Um, I do like the play on, you know, cause you know, cancel culture, Christmas isn't canceled. It's just you, you're the one who's canceled. Um, I like that. Um, I loved the verses, but I, for some reason, the way the verses were building up, it did not take me to where that chorus was. I felt like we were building and then the chorus should have been here, like beyond where this camera can film. But then I feel like the chorus was just here, like at, at a level that I just was like, you're too little for what I wanted. Um, and I'm not looking for like, a, like the, I don't know what I'm exactly looking for, but that wasn't quite it. Um, I wasn't as into this one. And then the Christmas isn't canceled where the people were, the backing vocals were just repeating themselves. I was like, eh, not feeling that as much. Um, hmm. Which is a shame because, you know, with, with rap, with, um, what is, what, oh, am, am I, yeah, wrapped in red, we get, um, underneath the tree, which is the big, you know, thing from that. And so far, we're not matching that. Um, I do like the meaning of life vibe, so there's that. But as a whole, this one I was I was not a huge fan of. Track number four, Merry Christmas to the Ones I Used to Know, which is another original piece. So let's hear it. I do love the piano. I wanna know who she used to know. If I could feel okay. Ah! song should end with you bastard every, that's how i get to for everything on here um okay i think so far this is my favorite track of the new tracks that i've listened to on this album new christmas song shall we say um this one it just paints so many beautiful pictures like especially that i'm dancing with your ghost merry christmas to the one i used to know not who you are currently but to that ghost that you left behind or the person that you once were when i first fell in love with you Merry Christmas to that one. Um, ho! Ah! Ah! Oh! This deserves a music video. This deserves to be a single. Um, I loved this. I thought that this was absolutely pretty. The musical theater vibes. Mwah! I loved it. Um, this is my favorite thing I've heard so far. I mean, she sounds gorgeous. The pain in her voice. I mean, ah! Ah! Now this, this is for me. This is like, I like this reflecting stuff. She was like, if I could turn back time. And I was like, yes. But then she's like, I can't. And then you're like, ah, ah. Um, so good. So good. Best song so far on the album. 
track number five and instant classic from the probably the day it was released i don't know when it was released but rocking around the christmas tree let's do it and this one is another two minute track so <laughs> You know, this is the point where I'm like, this is this is why um, reacting to Christmas albums isn't exactly my favorite, because it's like, what do I say about rocking around the Christmas tree? Like, what can I say? Um, I think I did enjoy this cover a little more than it's beginning to look a lot like Christmas. I think it was a little more poppy fun. Um, I think I'm gonna leave it at that. I liked it. So what's more, more to say really with that? Track number six, Glow, which is the technical second single or um, what is it, is it, or fifth single, however you want to look at it. Um, <laughs> and this is with Chris Stapleton. And yes, it is a new piece, Glow. This is not how I thought it was going to sound. I thought it was going to be another ballad. Sun in the trees, I get it. I get it now. I get it. Did you know? Did you know? Did you know? Did you know? Okay. I was gonna tell you guys, I was thinking like midway through the song, I'm feeling very indifferent towards this one. I don't dislike it, but I don't love it. I was kind of in the middle, I'm like, okay, it was nice. And then the lyric hit me, where she was like, even the tree lights can't compare with your glow. And I was like, okay, uh, it's gonna be one that grows on me. I think that I'm gonna need a few more listens with this one and then I'm gonna really, really appreciate it. Um, so I am gonna give it a like because as it, as it did progress, I was like, okay, I'm kind of liking what's going on here. I feel like this is one that I'll re revisit a few times and then I'm gonna be like, I get it. I love it. I stand it. Track number seven, another Christmas classic, Santa Baby. All right. Now, what's everybody's favorite version of this? Mine is probably the Eartha Kid version or the Kylie Minogue version. Two great versions. Santa baby, slip a sable under the tree for me. Okay. I've been an awful good girl, Santa baby. And hurry down the chimney tonight. Think of all the fun I've missed. Okay, listen, I, the thing that I didn't like about Kelly's version of Santa Baby is that, like I said, my two favorites are Eartha Kitt and Kylie Minogue, and those are very sexy, I mean, especially, I mean, Eartha Kitt, I mean, come on, purr, I, I can't do a purr, so there's that. Um, but then Kylie, with this one, it just was not sexy enough for me. Her voice sounded beautiful, and she did get one moment where I was like, okay, Cal, but as a whole for me, I was like, eh, it's just a little too there for me. I need, I, I, I need you to, I want to feel that you really, truly want the Santa you know um so this didn't do a whole lot for me this version so i'm sorry about that but uh i wasn't as in love with this one as i wanted to be track number nine we are officially halfway through this album uh we have a classic last christmas and i i love this song so let's do it last christmas, okay this is 
This is giving me something new. I like that. A little jazzy version. I like that. I like that too. Okay, that was Last Christmas, a song that I feel like makes so much sense for Kelly to cover. Again, Divorced Christmas album. Uh, Last Christmas really works for that. What I loved about this one, though, is that it sounds so different from the original. So I'm going to make a confession here, and y'all can judge me all you want, and I don't care. Um, my favorite version of Last Christmas is not the Wham version. I'm sorry. Well, no, I'm not even sorry about that because I stand with what I say. The first version I ever heard of this song, and which is the version of which I will stand to the stay. In fact, she is on my wall right there, um, is the Ashley Tisdale version of Last Christmas. I don't know. I don't know why. I don't, but that version will always be my favorite version. I cannot explain to you why. I'm not sitting here and telling you it's better than the Wham version because I know I'd be wrong. But as to which one your sound pal will love more, uh, and this one would come as a close third for me because I like that it's different. I like that it's jazzy. I like that it makes sense in the in the scheme of this album. I stand it. I liked it. Track number ten, another classic, Jingle Bell Rock. Let's do it. Okay, let's go. Jingle Again, Christmas classic. What can I truly say? It's good. It's a great cover of it. Again, would fit perfectly on Wrapped in Red. Cute. Perfect. Love it. Track number 11, Blessed. Which, in a weird way, I'm kind of hoping that this, even though it's on a Christmas album, I'm hoping it's not too Christmassy, because if so, it'll complete my trilogy of listening to Blessed songs on here. So I have um, Christina Aguilera's Blessed, Mariah Carey's um, So Blessed. If I have one more, three, one more, it's a trilogy of songs about being blessed, and all two of those I love drastically. So let's see. Blessed. It's quiet all around, the only sound here in the sun inside the snowflakes falling down. Okay. Litter on the ground, okay. Okay, it's more New Year's Eve ish. This is a new song, right? Less. Okay. It might just complete my drilling name. Sweeter than a symphony. Uh, no, 
Miss Clarkson that that hey hey okay so it doesn't quite complete my blessed trilogy because of the Christmas meanings in it so I I, I wish I could but I, I just can't listen to Christmas music year-round I can't do it um so this is beautiful and I dare say it might be my favorite new track written for this album it's in close competition with Merry Christmas to the one I used to know that's tough um but just gorgeous I mean her vocal is amazing um the fact that uh she's like you know gone through this hell hole of like the past two years i guess with her divorce and um she's now looking around and she's like you know what i got my family i got my friends i'm still blessed i still got so many things to be thankful for um beautiful love the vocal slays the scene can't wait to listen to this one again that was so good track number 12 christmas come early which is technically the last track of the um uh, the uh, regular album because again these bonus tracks are on every version so i'm like they're not really bonus you know it's fine it's cool it's whatever christmas come early and i believe that this is a penned kelly track oh by the way did she write did, is blessed a new song because she didn't write it so is it new or is it a cover from somebody else uh, she didn't write this either so i don't know if it's new either are these two songs right now from the last one this one new tell me Christmas, won't you please come early this year? I don't need the snow, I'm already cold, tired of I'm cold the snow. <laughs> You know what's funny is for some people that sounds joyful. That to me sounds like a nightmare. Okay, let's keep it going. So I could use a break too. <laughs> really really liked um just her you know it, it kind of reminds me of a more somber version of we need a little christmas from the musical mame um it, it just is like you know she needs a little a little something nice to look forward to she doesn't need all the bells and whistles of christmas but she needs that special feeling you know what i mean um that was really pretty again can someone tell me if these two are technically new tracks because she did not write them um uh, these last two blessed and Christmas come early. I'm a little, I'm, 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 I just would like to know. I'd, I'd like to know a little something, something. Um, if these are Kelly originals or just covers. So, but I really did like the light, these last two. Okay, now we're on to the bonus tracks. We begin with track number 13, a song we've listened to on this channel already. And I don't, I'm not going to lie, guys. I usually listen to everything more after I react to it. This is a song I don't think I revisited after I filmed my reaction. So this is going to be very much as new again for you as me. This is Under the Mistletoe with Brett Eldridge. Not bad. I'm kind of mad at myself that I didn't revisit this um, when I first listened to it because I remember I liked it. I think just timing wise, I never ended up, you know, downloading the track to my phone. Um, 
This is really cute. And honestly, I feel like this song is what, because uh, it, it gives me very Wrapped in Red vibes. Like very Wrapped in Red, not the album itself, but like also um, Under the Tree vibes. It's very fun, very joyful. I think out of the duets on this, which there's just one other one, this is the real, like to me, this is the real good duet, like between the two. I like their the way they play off of each other. Um, I like this, I'm kind of shocked again that I didn't really revisit it. It kind of reminds me of what Christmas is in Cancel Just Do kind of wants to be. Um, in terms of sound, I feel like it's a more wholesome sound. Um, I liked it. I, I liked it again. Okay, yeah, definitely, thankfully, now that I have this CD imported into my computer, I can put it on my phone. So there's that. Track number 14, All I Want For Christmas Is You, which is not Miss MC's song, but it turns out there's another song called that, uh, which was released in 1989, and it was by Vince, Van uh, Vince Vance and the Valiants. Um, and this is the version that Kelly is doing, so let's... Let's hear a different All I Want For Christmas Is You. Um, I, it's funny, I just, in my head, I just keep thinking, I'm like, Mariah outsold whoever this Vince is. It's like a natural reflex. Take back the holly and mistletoe Stockings and bows Christmas tree Take back the holly Okay. I really like that she chose this version of the song. Again, I've never heard this one before, but it's nice. It is the exact same sentiment as Mariah Carey's uh, song, but uh, we all know which is the superior, we know Mariah's is the superior version of this title. Um, but I liked it. I think it's a good fit for Kelly's voice. Uh, it fits very well with this album, especially the old school vibe. So I did like it. I thought it was nice. Track number 15, the final track, this is Christmas Eve, which was released in 2017 to accompany a book that Kelly had written. And since it's 2017, that means that this was written slash done in the era of the meaning of life. So, ha <laughs> ha let's hear it. A meaning of life era track. What I find most interesting about this song is not only did I really like it, according to uh, what's on Wikipedia, it says that she wrote this song um, from the perspective of the elves while making preparations for the holiday. And that is so cute. I like this one a lot. I feel like out of, um, again, it's, I feel like a little stronger than some of the actual album tracks off of this album in terms of the upbeat ones. Um, I thought it was really cute. Again, very wrapped in red vibes. Um, and I stand that I really like this one, and especially with it being uh, the Meaning of Life era, what's really funny too is that the font is the exact same uh, on the single cover as the Meaning of Life era, so I love that. I stand that. Okay, guys, we just finished Kelly Clarkson's ninth studio album and second holiday album, When Christmas Comes Around. And I have to say, um, I feel a little mixed towards this one. I knew going into it, I was not probably going to enjoy it as much as I did Wrapped in Red. Now, I consider Wrapped in Red one of the most perfect holiday albums ever made. Like, ever since listening to it, I bought it, I think, the day after uh, I listened to it on, uh, on, you know, for my reaction on vinyl, because it was just that freaking good. And listening to it the other night, it's just... 
such a good album. Um, we are in a much different space uh, in uh, Wrapped in Red than we are for when Christmas comes around. Again, this is the Divorce Christmas album. In my humble opinion, I would have rathered uh, the Divorce, I because I would have been here for the Divorce album, you know, like Kelly, whatever it was, because I know she's written a lot of things. It's just, I don't know when it's coming out. Um, and then done a Christmas album. I would have preferred that. Um, because this, the divorce lingering on this album makes it a little like, I feel like everything is a little unbalanced here. The flow isn't as uh, cohesive, I feel, as Wrapped in Red was. Again, I want the divorce album, so don't get me wrong. I want it. I really, really want it. But um, I don't want to, I don't know, something about an upbeat Christmas song that is like, Christmas isn't canceled, just you. It didn't work for me as much as I wanted it to. Um, Which I don't know if that's just me or whatever. I don't know. But um. As a whole, I did find this album a little more uneven compared to the others. Um, and the covers I didn't think stood out as much. Um, I don't know. I'm a little mixed. My favorite tracks are easily, let me go through and look and see what I like. So I'm going to not really talk about much about the covers. I really want to care more about the new stuff here. Um, I really, I did like uh, Merry Christmas Baby. I thought that was cute. Um, I think my two favorite songs are easily Merry Christmas to the one I used to know and Blessed. I mean, just me being me, that's where it's going to go. Glow is another cute one. I feel like out of the covers, I feel like the most, you know, coolest one is probably Last Christmas because it's jazzy. It's something different. The rest of the covers themselves are fine. In terms of the bonus tracks, I really feel like those are honestly the best tracks of the album. I mean, Under the Mistletoe is great. Again, I'm mad at myself for not, you know, revisiting that. Christmas Eve is really, really good. And All I Want for Christmas is You, that version is just really cool too. Um, again, though, a mixed bag. It's not exactly the most, you know, maybe for somebody who's in the same situation as Kelly is, I feel like you would enjoy this album a little more. For me, it's not, I'm, I don't know, I'm not, I'm, not the, I'm not where she's at. And that's okay. We're all in different places in our lives. Um, but uh, yeah, I'm a little, I'm a little mixed right now. It wasn't as joy because it's not the most joyful holiday album. I, I feel like, I, I don't know. I don't know. I feel like when I want to be put in my feelings for Christmas, I feel like it's more like, you know, like, just like, man, we made it through it. I don't know. This one, I don't know. It wasn't giving me the exact vibes I truly wanted, but uh, I'll be here for when the divorce, like, actual studio album comes out. So what did you guys think of when Christmas comes around? Let me know in the comments below. And as always, don't forget to comment, like, share, and subscribe. You can follow me on Instagram at Salvador J. Rocha, Twitter at Sal Says Stuff, and TikTok at Sal Rocha 1. And I'll see you guys ever so soon. Um, see you guys later. Have a great Christmas. Bye.